Hey guys, we're back with another diecast review. Uh, today's a new arrival, a new shipment from Lionel. This is Ryan Blaney's 2018 uh, Charlotte Roble win. Uh, this was the inaugural race at the Charlotte Roble. Uh, there was a lot of hype surrounding this race last year. Um, I liked the race. I thought it was uh, very entertaining and interesting. Uh, the road course added a whole nother element. Um, this was the Bank of America Roval 400. Um, Blaney went from third to first in the last chicane last turn, uh, right by the starting line as Jimmy Johnson and Martin Truex Jr. Uh, wrecked, which allowed Blaney to take the, the win. Um, second career Monster uh, Energy NASCAR Cup Series win. First win in 2018. Um, this is a very raced race version. Uh, there's a lot of damage and markings on it. Uh, it looks awesome. The paint scheme in general looks good. Um, if you haven't pre-ordered this or bought it already, I definitely recommend it just because of how good it looks. Um, I did get the Elite version of it uh, as soon as the race was over. Um, well, even before the race, I knew I was going to end up getting this car no matter who won. Uh, Blaney's the second favorite driver, I guess, in the Cup Series out of the two I root for. I really only root for Chase Elliott and Ryan Blaney. Um, definitely Chase Moore. Um, so it was pretty cool to see him win. Uh, it would have been cool to see Jimmy uh, get that first win. Uh, you know, in however many races it was. It was all 2018 um, but it also would have been cool. I'm not a fan of Martin Truex, but it would have been cool to see him uh, get that win with Sherry Strong on the car. Um, so let's get into all the other stuff that comes with it. You got your red, white, and blue uh, confetti from Victory Lane. You got your Monster Energy uh, winner sticker. You got your Elite Certificate of Authenticity that comes with them. And then you have the winner card. Uh, it's Charlotte Roval. Ryan Blaney Bank of America 400 winner. Or Roval 400 winner. Uh, Concord, North Carolina. Uh, September 30th, 2018. The race was 3 hours, 1 minute, and 34 seconds. Blaney started 9th. Uh, eight cautions, eight leaders. Blaney led 16 laps. And this was his second uh, career win in the Cup Series. On the back, it says Blaney rocks the roll. Uh, with the race leaders spinning ahead of him, Ryan Blaney drove his number 12 Menards Pennzoil Ford Fusion through the smoke to grab his first win in 2018 and make history as the winner of the inaugural running of the Bank of America Oval 400. Uh, Blaney's victory at Charlotte Motor Speedway wasn't only historic, but also clinched his spot in the second round of the 2018 playoffs. So there's the winner card that comes with it. Uh, like I said, it's pretty cool to see him win this. Um, he was probably an underdog going into the race, but then again, as the inaugural race, it was, you know, everybody was an underdog. Uh, so there's the Elite box. Nothing special about it. Um, right here, you got Ryan Blaney. Uh, Pennzoil Menard Charlotte win. 2018 Fusion Elite. And one of 587. Out of those 587, I have 285. Uh, so as you can see already, and I'm sure you've seen before, uh, this is an extremely dirty, beat-up, raced version. Um, I like die-cast, and when you add the race version, it's, it makes them even better. But then when you um, kind of beat on them and they look as beat-up as this, it kind of makes them look even cooler, just with all the confetti and then the rubber build-up and the dirt and the markings and the brake dust on the wheels and... It's uh, it's just a really good looking car, so definitely go out and get it. Um, you know, so 
let's get into the uh, left side. I had a thought, I kind of paused and then I forgot about it, so hopefully I'll remember. Um, so going down the left side here, you can already see the brake dust on the left front, and then the rubber build up, and you got some damage above the tire. Um, this is the die cast, obviously, and they can't make it 100% accurate because they use the same mold. Um, so in the real car, a lot of the sheet metal was pushed in. I guess it's like that for every race version, but for this one, there was a lot of it. Um, I think it was the left front, I believe, and maybe some on the right front, but you can't uh, tell. And I know the right front, I think it was, was all kind of scraped up the tire. Um, but for what they're kind of enabled to do, what their limits are, uh, they made this one look really awesome. Uh, so hats off to Lionel for taking the time with this one. Um, so if we go down the left front here, you got the Monster Energy Playoff Contingency, the Round of 16, Moog, Melee, Lincoln, Edelbrook, Mechanics Wear, k &N. Then you got the Ryan Blaney Playoff uh, sticker or emoji or whatever you want to call that. You can see the the dirt and the damage on that 12 door. Um, got Ryan Blaney on the name rail, winter sticker, Ford, PPG Paints, Mazak, Knopf, or however you pronounce that one. Now you got Richmond, Carlisle, DEX Imaging, Menards, Pennzoil, American Ethanol, and you can just see the, the damage on the left rear there. So. I wasn't lying when I said this thing was dirty and beat up, so let's get to the the wheels do turn on this. Uh, you know, pretty standard, I guess, but still pointing it out. Uh, there's the front of the car, the nose, and you can see a lot of the rubber buildup and the dirt on the nose. You got, uh, you got Ford. Fusion 12. Yeah, Pens oil there on the hood. And even more rubber buildup. You got the Monster Energy playoff banner. You got the 12 on the roof. Blaney on the rear windshield. And on the deck lid, there's a lot of sponsors. Um, I think this. I'm not sure if he had this on all of his cars last year. Uh, I thought it was the JTG cars that had them on the deck lid. But you got Kitty, Cardell, Sylvania, Tarkett, Libman, Duracell, Nibco, Jack Lynx, Atlas, and Moen. And on the, the bumper. Probably one of the cleaner parts of this car is the bumper. Uh, you got Menards. Then you got Ford, 12 some damage right there uh, it's kind of like the Chase Watkins Glen one uh, with that damage or not damage but the bumper uh, being all scratched up um, go down the right side of it and you can see even more brake dust and the damage and you can kind of see where Lionel made it look where it was supposed to be pushed in um, the sheet metal on the real car, you can kind of see how they tried to make it look that way. You can see all the damage there, the rubber build up. In the door, you can see all the, the black markings and the dust on the right door of that 12. Kind of all the way up, it kind of goes darker and fades. Um, yeah. Same thing, uh, a lot of damage. You can see where it's supposed to be pushed in. Um, roof flaps do open. The, if I can get it here, trunk does open. I'm trying to get the hood here. One second. Okay. 
got the hood open. Let's see, under the hood there. Oh, but it doesn't really open that well. But you got Ford, Menards, Pennzoil. They're on the inside there. Uh, so this one is an elite version. Uh, it's a great looking car, great looking race version. Uh, I definitely recommend getting this one. Uh, Ryan Blaney, he's a good driver, a good guy. So if you don't really have a favorite driver, Ryan Blaney's a good one to cheer for. Um, you know, so that's about it for this uh, review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out my Instagram. I'll be posting pictures there later today. Uh, it's at JA underscore diecast. Also check out the Sports Memorabilia Instagram, which is at JA underscore sports mem. Uh, I post my sports memorabilia collection there. Um, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.